Hello everyone. We know these are tough times, but an equal number of students as that of your batch with more experience is standing right beside you to help you through each and every stage which you go through in the next two weeks. Today, in collaboration with Concert Club, I'll talk about some tips and tricks and some of the procedures which will help you to sail through successfully during your interview. Firstly, I'm going to talk about how the D-Day is different from the process or from the buddy calls you have been going through through the previous weeks. Firstly, the interviewer of the D-Day will more or less be a partner or a senior level employee of the firm in which you are interviewing. He'll be experienced in one of the industry verticals in which the company specializes in. In all probabilities, he'll give a case from that industry from which he is specializing in from the previous years. Hence, you can ask your buddies or from the company employees as to who your interviewer will be so that you can prepare accordingly. Apart from that, the case will only be half part of your interview. The rest half part will consist of some HR or personal questions like your introduction, strengths or weaknesses, why consulting, and some follow-up questions of your profile. This basically helps the interviewer to judge your confidence and communication and your spontaneity whether you can answer these questions or not. The case duration will differ significantly from the buddy rounds since the partner case lasts not more than 20 to 25 minutes as against the buddy calls which last much longer. Hence, you have to be crisp in your approach, not ask many preliminary questions and take less number of pauses. Since the process has moved to an offline mode this year, the, your body language will play a major role in your interview. How you sit, how you interact and how you move your hands, how you make an eye contact with an interviewer, all of this will matter a lot during your interview. So focus a lot on these and prepare accordingly. Secondly, how to prepare for your D-Day. The first and foremost thing which I'll suggest is to read all the interview experiences which have been provided to you for the sector you are preparing for. That will consist of the cases which your seniors have done during their partner cases. That will help you to judge what type of cases do come in a partner round and how to approach them as compared to your buddy calls. Reading them and practicing them will also help you to gauge how to answer different questions posed by the partners because they care less about your structure but your creativity. Apart from that, do reach out to your seniors. They can help you with their exact experiences of the D-Day and you might as well practice their partner case with them. That will also help you to build your spontaneity and creativity in an actual partner case. Apart from that, you should read some industry briefs and current affairs going on in some industries so that you can mention them during your case to get some brownie points. These do help to impress your partners because your problem solving has already been tested during the buddy calls but they have to do to, uh, with your communication and confidence more. Apart from that, do practice your HR questions which you have been doing through the previous weeks. They do help to increase your chances in an interview because they do appear in uh, almost all the companies. Apart from that, keep in touch with your buddies till the very last day of the process. In every company, they'll help you with probably the details of your interviewer and you can as well share your anxieties, your concerns and ask any question to them regarding the process. This will basically show your keenness to your buddies and also help him to gauge uh, how much interested you are in the company and can affect your chances. Moving on to the next topic, I'll discuss some of the common pitfalls we fall into during an interview. So first of all, while doing a case with a partner, do make it conversational because many awkward pauses are not uh, a very good sign during your case. After finishing any kind of structure or any kind of answer, 
do ask some question so that the partner can continue the conversation and lead you on to a next direction please summarize at each and every point of the case what you have done and what you're going to do next so that the partner can confirm that you are going into the right direction and can lead you appropriately apart from that since the case duration is very short you cannot focus on very uh, detailed aspects of the case and very detailed structures you just have to be creative and to the point the uh, you cannot bore the partner with many of the details but he is interested only to the core point hence ask anything which comes up to your mind during the case itself whether you should dive into a particular branch or not do ask the partner so that you do not go haywire during the case apart from that as i mentioned before your body language you have to show that you are confident that is the most important thing during your case make an eye contact with an interviewer your case notes should be clear and visible to the partner so that he can clearly see what you are doing while you are taking pauses during the case apart from that use your hand movements to show your confidence and use these tricks to basically impress your partner now i'll talk about the specifics of the case which will practice with the partner itself so firstly starting with reiterating the problem statement which he mentions don't make it sound like a formality but make it conversational something like just to make sure that i got the problem correctly the client is doing x y z and i have to do this this will make it sound some conversational and not like something you have to do as a part of your structure then starting on to your preliminary questions do not ask each and every question which you have been practicing all through these days ask only relevant questions this will firstly crisp uh, the time you are taking during your preliminary questions but as well show your interview that you are asking only the relevant questions and not every question to gather as much information as possible to ensure that this is true focus on the problem statement and the part of the structure it is focusing upon for example if it is a gtm case it will not focus on the entire structure which i have been practicing it will, it will focus either on financial feasibility or operation feasibility or on the modes of entry not all of them hence ask preliminary questions which are relevant only to that section of the case moving on to the main structure itself the most important thing is to decide your structure beforehand and convey it to the interviewer that you are going to do xyz during the next 4 to 5 minutes this will ensure that you are moving into the right direction and the interviewer will be on the same page as you after you are finished branching off and structuring your thoughts you you are free to take some time off but make sure that your pauses are not too long to make it awkward with the interviewer after you are done with the case if you are asked to synthesize the case your synthesis should have only these three parts firstly the problem statement itself secondly the core solution which you have find out or the core cause of the problem and thirdly any recommendation or final solution which you have said during the case do not discuss the entire case which you have done with the partner but focus only on the main things which you have discussed this the objective of synthesis is to basically brief the client what you have done throughout the case and not summarize the entire discussion which you are having through during the last 15 to 20 minutes Lastly, partner cases are much easier than belly cases. If you have done belly doing or belly cases, you will do well at a partner case as well. Just one last thing: keep your body contact numbers handy during the process. If you are done with a particular interview and you have not done belly in it, you can contact your body to get your next interview scheduled at his or her company as soon as possible. That. Mostly summarizes what we wanted to discuss during the session. Uh, please feel free to reach out to any senior who you want for any kind of help. 
all the rest.